So Aaliyah has been trending lately and it's not for her music. Um, fans are pushing for her case to be reopened and investigated more. With all the recent interviews coming out of people that were, you know, affiliated some way, somehow with her uncle and backgrounds and blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're saying things that they probably shouldn't be saying. They're maybe forgetting not to say these things, uh, but it's now lining up to look like that Aaliyah, this was not an accident. I have had the feeling for the longest time, not only myself, but a bunch of us as fans, uh, we felt for the longest time that this was not an accident. We know the facts are that Aaliyah's uncle profited off of her death. We know that Lenny Kravitz sent a plane for Aaliyah during the Rock the Boat shoot that Hype took, so she was forced onto the plane that she was on. We know that there was some sort of yelling match. This was a quote, even back in the day in like 2001 when the accident happened. I remember reading that there was a yelling match between the pilot and someone from her team. Um, the person from her team were forcing to be, get on the plane, uh, that she needs to get on that plane. While the pilot was arguing no, because it's overweight, as to why they still went on, I, I don't know. You know, if the pilot says no, his life is pretty much just as at risk as everybody else, right? But so something happened there that made them go on. Um, and then we also have that book that came out not long ago where it states that she was, uh, as an eyewitness, they saw her get into a car. She was given a pill and she fell asleep and she was brought on to the plane. So we don't even know if Aaliyah was like awake, but apparently not. So all these bits of information is coming out bit by bit years after. So the fans are saying that this year, 2023, is going to be uh, the year for like for Aaliyah, justice for Aaliyah. The same way that they did the whole free Britney thing, um, the fans are planning to do the same for Aaliyah. And we know how strong social media can be and how like fan bases can be. And I think this is something that actually should get looked into just based off all the things that we've read about. It just doesn't make sense. A lot of it doesn't make sense. So I hope that this does actually get looked into. Someone definitely should be held responsible as to who the uncle is at Hype. Hype never spoke out about the accident and what happened that day. Uh, Dame in an interview, um, he even said this himself that he found out about the private jet sent from Lenny Kravitz to Aaliyah, that Hype took it. So apparently they had some words with each other. The interviewer asked Dame, what did he say to Hype? Uh, Dame wouldn't say it. He just said, ask him. It's a, it's a weird one, but I hope they actually look into it. And I, the album's definitely not coming out. It's been a while now. Not one word about it whatsoever. There's not word of it being worked on. There's not word of it being shelved and not coming out. There's absolutely nothing. We got the single and it was just fucking, we were told it was going to come out in a month. That was a long time. That was last year, wasn't it? Early last year, like January, February last year. So it's been a year now that we were waiting on this album to come out and it's never coming out. I'm definitely not holding my breath on it. I think they should kind of hold on to it. Get this situation dealt with and let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Is this something worth looking into? I think it is. I think it's been a long time coming and it's, it's long overdue. This should have been, this should have happened a long ass fucking time ago. And I hope the fans really push this until something does come from it and someone is held responsible for uh for losing Aaliyah.